Hello everyone. Today I will explain the road vector and merge to lane features in Map Element. The road vector feature is based on a deep learning solution, which automatically vectorizes road surface elements such as lane lines, ground arrows, pedestrian crossings, and deceleration yield signs based on the shape of the road. To activate the road vector, first select the point cloud data to be processed and set the corresponding parameters as needed. The line type parameter is mainly used to set the reference line for subsequent detection areas. There are three options, vector line, custom line, and trajectory. When the vector line option is selected, select an existing vector line in the point cloud to generate a polygon detection area with a specific width based on that vector line. When the custom line option is selected, you can draw a vector line as the reference line by clicking the left mouse button on the point cloud and double clicking to end the line drawing. When the trajectory option is selected, it can only be used when there is a trajectory data in the current project. Click on a point on the trajectory with the left mouse button and drag the mouse along the desired trajectory path to select the trajectory segment in real time. Click on the endpoint to complete the trajectory selection. The width parameter combined with the line type forms a polygon area with a set width on both sides of the reference line. By modifying the width value, the size of this area can be adjusted. After selecting the reference line, the 3D window will display the real-time effect of the parameter settings. The minimum length parameter is used to filter out lines that are too short during the detection process, as they are usually extraction errors. However, if the road markings in the same scene are indeed short, this value needs to be adjusted according to the actual situation. The target layer represents the layer in which the detected lane line results will be stored. Next, select the corresponding source category according to the requirements. It is strongly recommended to classify point cloud categories before using this feature, and only select the category where the ground points are located as input categories to improve processing efficiency and detection accuracy. There are two modes of operation, CPU mode and GPU mode. GPU mode requires hardware and software support. If the conditions are not met, even if it is selected, it will still run in CPU mode. If the conditions are met, running in GPU mode can improve efficiency to some extent. After selecting the parameters, click the OK button to start automatic detection. After the detection is completed, it can be observed that solid lines may be fragmented. If merging is required, the merge to lane function can be used to optimize the automatically extracted results. Activate the merge to lane and you can see that the software provides automatic and manual modes. There is a shortcut prompt in the upper left corner for automatic detection mode. Click C to switch between automatic and manual modes. Click on Merge Lanes to choose between solid lines and dashed lines. Taking the drawing of solid lane lines as an example, select the layer of the line vector object to be merged in the source layer parameter. The maximum margin represents the maximum distance between two connected line vectors in terms of their sequence. When the distance between the end of one line and the beginning of another line is greater than this value, the two lines will not be merged and the merging process will be stopped. The search width represents the width value within which the next line is searched within a region formed by moving along the line vector. If the vertical distance between two adjacent vector lines exceeds the search width, the merging process will be stopped. The maximum angle represents the maximum angle between two connected line vectors in terms of their sequence. When the angle formed by the line connecting the tail end of the first line and the starting point of the next line with the direction of the first line is greater than this value, it is considered that the two lines are not part of the same lane line and the merging process will be stopped. After setting the parameters, select the line vector in the source layer for merging. Click on the first lane line to determine the detection direction, then click on any position of the second line with the left mouse button to start automatic merging forward until it no longer meets the condition and automatically stops. If the detection error is found, 
click the right mouse button to undo the previous detection node if some lane lines were not detected by rolled vector feature. You can manually add obvious lane lines in manual mode to improve the lane line drawing. Then click C to switch to manual mode and click the left mouse button to add line nodes one by one. Each click will connect with the previous node to form a lane line. If you need to stop merging, you can click the space key. Finally, click enter to confirm the merging results and complete the merging process. In addition, when merging dashed lane lines, most of the steps are the same as merging solid lane lines. The only difference is that in the termination case, when switching to manual mode, two points need to be added simultaneously to increase the number of dashed line segments. This is the introduction to the road vector and merge to lane features. Thank you for watching.